Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't filmed in so long and I have missed you guys so much. Today is a really, really surreal video to make because if any of you have followed me for any length of time at all, you know I'm obsessed with handbags, always have been. But since I was probably 17, I've imagined myself one day owning an Hermes bag, whether that be a Kelly, but really more specifically the Birkin and the day has come and it's crazy that I can actually make this. So I'm dying to share it with you because you guys know more than anybody like how exciting these things are and I would really, really love to share it with you. So stay tuned for my very first Birkin unboxing. We'll talk through everything, the story, the size, just everything about it. I hope you love it as much as I do. First of all, I hope you love my new little setup here. I got some new chairs and some new photography and I'm just loving the vibe of it. Here she is from the size of the box. You can probably already tell what it is. You guys already know it's a Birkin, not a Kelly. This box is massive. So, before further ado, please comment down below what you think it is. The size, color, hardware, all of it. I'd love to hear your guesses. I think you probably have a pretty good idea just knowing my full aesthetic, but let me know what you think. Okay, since she is quite big, I switched to a little bit of a different perspective so you guys get the best view possible, but let's just open her up. I'm so excited for you to see her. Okay. That's just gonna stay there for now. Okay, last time to guess because I'm trying to hold her. You can honestly see a little bit of the bag as soon as I uncover the top here. She is a Birkin 35 in toga leather with palladium hardware and she is so gorgeous. Obviously in the color white. This is such a dream to actually be holding this in front of you. I'll run through all of the details, but let me just say first and foremost, the condition of this bag is absolutely insane. I did buy this one pre-loved. She originally came from Paris and the owner before me basically didn't use it. So it is in pristine condition. When I tell you like there are no, literally no <laughs> scratches on the hardware, it's, it's amazing. It's in incredible condition. Well, I'm going to see a Birkin, so I figured I'd document the process. I do have a shirt on. I just came from work. I had one appointment today, so I actually finished early, but I'm so excited. I, I hope that this is the one. It's gorgeous and very on brand. I bought a Birkin. Oh my goodness, I bought a Birkin. I put a deposit down. I'm picking it up on Monday. Monday cannot come soon enough. I am so excited. I'm so excited. It's gorgeous. As soon as I saw, I knew I was gonna have a gut reaction. I was like, it's either gonna be uh, a no right away because it's white, it's not cray, it's not nata, it doesn't have like a creamy undertone. It is white and it's perfect. Oh my goodness, it's perfect. Okay, bye. So I have totally been using her. The day I got it, the day I actually went to pick it up, first of all, that was wild. That was just such an experience. I was like beside myself with how excited I was. But the day that I went to pick it up was the first day that I used it. So let's just start from the beginning. And the reason why I got this bag was to be an everyday bag. I did not want it to be one that was occasional, that I would baby, that I wouldn't take out because I was scared of using it or wearing it, or even not to say ruining it, but just showing signs of wear. I'm not that person and I have used this and loved it so much already and I know I'm gonna continue to. So that has not been something that I've been shying away from. I love it so much. I'm gonna insert here some close-ups of the bag. 
and I know this is gonna come up sooner than later, but in terms of price, it was honestly the best and most comfortable I've ever felt buying like a designer item. I never had that feeling of, of nervousness when I actually bought it and spent the money. I was just so happy. So first and foremost, what it came with, because this is a pretty short list, obviously, we just have the dust bag. Sometimes from the dust bag, you can also tell approximately what year it is. Mine is a 2009, which is the M square date stamp. I'm reading off of my notes from the listing just to be 100% sure. Togo leather, 9.5 out of 10 condition. Um, and this came with the dust bag, the clochette, and the lock and key. So that is just, here normally i have them off of one side of the handle so we'll open her up and then i'll pop this back on it also came of course with the box the carrier bag and also the raincoat which i don't know if i'm actually going to end up using but i think it's cute that they come with them anyway so it's cool to have maybe not super functional for me like i said it is going to be a bag that i'm going to wear sort of no matter what. I want this to be an everyday thing. I want to get the use out of it. And if a couple raindrops get on it, it's actually already been out in the rain with me. I just sort of cover it up and make sure that as soon as I'm inside, I dry it off and we've been good to go. So let me tell you the story. So I'm assuming you guys may have seen my video that I last did talking about looking into Hermes Kelly's. Long story short, ended up ordering two of them. Neither of them ended up coming and that was a really big sign to me. I thought something else better is coming. This just isn't meant to be. So I keep looking around and this is actually a company that I've known of for a very, very long time. I've had some sort of like personal ties to, if you wanna say it like that. I have bought from them before. On my channel, one of my very first videos was actually a Fendi Micro Peekaboo, which is on my shelf somewhere. Oh, it's over on the other side. I've actually bought a Fendi Micro Peekaboo from them quite a long time ago. I think that was 2020, but their service is amazing. Their quality is always like top notch. They're very reliable. Everything is guaranteed authentic or your money back. So I, and just knowing who they are, I was confident in going ahead with purchasing something like a Birkin from them. So anyway, I ended up seeing this on their Instagram and the next day I contacted them, asked them if I could come in and see it. And as soon as I did, I knew I was gonna have a gut reaction and literally the second I saw it, I knew that this was the one. This is just like exactly, exactly what I was looking for that I didn't honestly think I was gonna be able to get. One, because it was a Birkin and I thought I would probably end up starting off with Kelly. Also because it was in such good condition, like no scratches on the hardware, an incredibly clean interior, which I'll show you in just a second. I actually do have an organizer in it. One of the very first things that I did was get an organizer, a white, B35 organizer from Samorga. I watch a lot of videos like this on YouTube and I'm sure if you're watching this, you've probably also watched Je Suis Lou's channel and she's a big advocate for Samorga. I know that there's seven RP organizers, but I just felt quite confident going ahead with Samorga. I got the thicker one. It was a very seamless process. It came super quickly and that was my first step to actually using the bag on a daily basis that I really wanted to do because I really wanted to make sure that the interior was kept super clean. I'll just show it to you really quick. I obviously do have the organizer in there. Naturally, the Birkin comes with just a zip pocket at the back, but the organizer was like a necessity for me. So it has this water bottle um, holder on this side, two slip pockets on either side of the organizer, making it just like really well organized. So. That's been such a plus. I'm not gonna go through what fits in it right now just because literally everything fits. I'm somebody that naturally takes 
more I think than the average person when they go out in their handbag and I have had no problem making sure that I can carry everything that I need to with me. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about the size of it. The B35 is big, but actually not as big as I thought it was gonna be. I was expecting like a keep all size where it just feels absolutely massive. And this doesn't feel like that at all to me. I feel like for a daily bag, and because I think the Birkin is just more casual in general than a Kelly, for example, I think it really works with the bigger size of the bag to keep it an even more casual look. I'm gonna show you some mod shots. For reference, I am 5'7". I would love to hear what you have to say about it. If this size is one that you think is good for a first time buyer, I also wanted to mention because the Togo is obviously white, that is not something that I'm too scared of. I feel like anybody that's not used to wearing as much white as I am would probably be a little hesitant to have such like a precious bag in such a clean, crisp color. And honestly, I wear white on a daily basis. For those of you that don't know, I actually own a bridal salon, so I'm basically head to toe in white on the daily and I knew for that reason that I would get a lot of wear out of a white Birkin and it just works with literally every single outfit. I'm gonna definitely keep wearing it in winter time. I'm not the person that stops wearing white after Labor Day. I love it every single day of the year. It just goes really, really well with my style but I'll show it to you on my frame. One sec. So here's the bag on my frame. It is definitely on the bigger side, but I love a big bag. I think now that I've gone through the mini bag stage, it's just not really my thing anymore to have such a small bag that is so impractical. And I'm happy that I'm in this like big bag era because it just works. It's so functional, everything fits in it. And in terms of like the sizing, I don't think that it's too unnatural to carry something that's this size, but I. I just, I just love it. I think it's amazing. So if you are looking at Birkin sizes and you're not 100%, maybe you can take this as a little bit of like a tip is go for a bigger size than you think. I think honestly the B25 on my frame would probably be too small. Not to say that I wouldn't love to own one, but just realistically, I think on a day to day, the 35 or a 30 is probably the smallest that I would go for daily use. It is naturally a little bit of a heavier bag Bag because it is fully Togo leather, but all other bags are like that anyway. All of that to say, definitely consider bigger Birkin sizes because you can also get ones at much friendlier prices than a B25 or a B30, or obviously like any of the mini Kellys or a K25, K28 even. Um, as soon as you get into like the Kelly 32 size, the prices do tend to come down a little bit. That was the size of the other two Kellys that I was looking at when I actually went ahead and purchased them. Both of them were K32s and I would have been totally open to that size. It obviously didn't end up working out and I'm so glad that it didn't because I love this bag so much. I think I'll have her for a very, very, very long time. I can't actually see myself ever getting rid of this bag. I just think that this is like the exact one that I was meant to have and that's why I have it. So I'm very, very grateful for it. Anyway, I would love to hear what you have to say in the comments if you have any like tips that you can give me even on color transfer not that I wear a lot of color but I'm always happy to hear about some options that you guys have learned along the way so let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you very very soon in my next video bye guys <laughs>